What's up, Rockets? I'm George Cano. And I'm Alex Cavazos. And this is J-Rocket TV. Our top story this month, the annual San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo is back in full force. The show features grounds filled to the brim with tons of activities to do and food to eat. They'll have everything from your common carnival food, such as corn dogs and everything fried from Twinkies to Oreos, and you won't grow hungry. At the attraction, there'll be carnival rides, stuff to buy, and animals to see. So try to make it out because the show ends March 1st. And now, here's Ashley and Gavin with today's Word on the Street. What's the word on the street this week, Ashley? Brown. What are your Jets and basketball predictions? Oh. They about to go ham on the court. You know, few slam dunks. You know, Pat Weezy going to take it to the hole every time. You know, hold it down for the lake. That's all I got to say. The hold it down for the bros. We about to go to state. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He's not going to hold it down for the lake. I know what's up. Oh, they, they went to state. What you mean? State champ. We going to state. We always go to state. I think they're going to go far in the playoffs, so you know. Oh, we're going to go to state. We're going to win. That's it. Um, I think we're going to win it. Oh, we're going to win state? What you mean? We need all y'all support, family, friends, and all y'all. Come to support us. We're going to win state. Oh, uh, you know, I think we go to state again, you know. Our basketball team is pretty uh, relentless on uh, getting, the, getting the job done. So, uh, yeah. Get out of the way, state. Finna be there, you know. Shout out to basketball. Um, let's win. Uh, just basketball prediction. Um, well, we got states. We got a lot of states, so I think we'll go another state again. Um, yeah, we're going to go to state. They're going to go far in the playoffs. I predict that we're going to go to state. We're going to go to state and we're going to win. We almost had it last year, but we didn't come through. But we got this year right. Uh, we're going to win. We're going to lose. doesn't really matter as long as we have fun. All right, basketball, like, we, we're good at basketball. We're going to state. But if, if y'all need somebody to dunk, let me in there. I'm 6'5". Oh, we're going to take it again this year. They did pretty good last year. I feel like they can make it again this year. We're going to go all the way. We're going to take the crown home. Y'all watch. I have no idea about basketball. Just in basketball, please. Man, you already know what it is with that basketball stuff, man. We taking it home this year. You know what I'm talking about? Senior year 2015. Audi. Um, I think they're going to do pretty good. <laughs> going to state. Mm -mm. This Sunday, the 87th Annual Academy Awards will be televised on ABC. This award ceremony recognizes achievements in the movie industry. And to offer his take on the nominees and who he thinks should make off with the coveted Oscar, we have J Rocket TV's very own Trey Severe live outside the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles, California. Trace, what can you tell us? Thanks, George. The time has come again for the annual Hollywood Popularity Contest, in which the least deserving nominees are usually the ones to take home the coveted gold trophy. The 87th annual Oscars are here. While there are many candidates in the 20 plus categories this year, we're going to cover the five biggest and most sought after categories, analyzing the nominations and predicting who will take home the prize. First up, we have Best Director. The nominees are Alejandro G. Inaratu for Birdman, Richard Linklater for Boyhood, Bennett Miller for Foxcatcher, Wes Anderson for The Grand Budapest Hotel, and Morton Tilden for The Imitation Game. While I'd love to see Linklater get this one, I think Inaratu might take it for his aesthetic and single shot gimmick. While Boyhood also has the gimmick of being filmed over 12 years, I think the Academy will lean towards Birdman's style. He's a Hollywood clown in a Lycra bird suit. Yes, he is. But he's going out on that stage and risking everything. This is about being respected and validated, remember? That's what you told me! In the Best Animated Film category, we have Big Hero 6, The Box Trolls, How to Train Your Dragon 2, Song of the Sea, and The Tale of the Princess Kaguya. This category has lost most credibility this year because of no nomination for the Lego movie. I have absolutely no idea what the Academy was thinking nominating the Box Trolls instead. That being said, I think the award will go to How to Train Your Dragon 2. The film had been long anticipated, received rave reviews, and is undeniably great. Then again, so was the Lego movie, so what do I know? Next up is actress in a leading role. We have Marion Cotillard for Two Days, One Night, Felicity Jones for The Theory of Everything, Julianne Moore for Still Alice, Rosamund Pike for Gone Girl, and Reese Witherspoon for Wild. While I would love for Rosamund Pike to finally get the attention she deserves by winning this award, there's been a lot of hype surrounding Julianne Moore, though I admittedly have not seen Still Alice. Still, Pike's performance is flawless, and I can't deny that I'll be just a little disappointed if it doesn't go to her. In the actor in a leading role category, we have Steve Carell for Foxcatcher, Bradley Cooper for American Sniper, 
Benedict Cumberbatch for The Imitation Game, Michael Keaton for Birdman, and Eddie Redmayne for The Theory of Everything. While Cooper is a favorite of the Academy's, and there's a lot of buzz surrounding Michael Keaton, I think Eddie Redmayne's portrayal of Stephen Hawking is too good for even a group as pretentious as the Academy to pass up. Redmayne definitely deserves to win this one in my eyes, and I think he's got it in the bag. All that being said, I can't believe Jake Gyllenhaal isn't nominated for Nightcrawler. I can confidently say that he's tied with Redmayne for Best Male Performance of 2014, and him not being recognized for that is a shame. I'm starting a TV news business. You, get back! I film breaking stories. Maybe you saw my item this morning, you were fatal carjacking. No, I mean, I don't have a TV. Do you have a cell phone? Yeah. Does that have GPS? Yeah. Congratulations, you're hired. <sighs> okay. Now for the biggest, most coveted category of the evening, Best Picture. The nominees are American Sniper, Birdman, Boyhood, The Grand Budapest Hotel, The Imitation Game, Selma, The Theory of Everything, and Whiplash. There's an unfortunate lack of Gone Girl and Nightcrawler in this category, but every film nominated, besides American Sniper, absolutely deserves to be there. Now even though Whiplash was my favorite film of 2014, I don't think it has a chance of winning, although I do hope it takes home Best Editing. I think Best Picture is a tight race between Boyhood and Birdman. A few months ago, I thought there was no way Boyhood wasn't getting it because of the ambition it held, taking over a decade to shoot. But now that the night is closer, Birdman is right there with it because of the universal praise it's been receiving, though I'm not a fan. I get the appeal, but I'd be extremely upset to see it get Best Picture over a film as moving as Boyhood. Or maybe the Academy will decide to surprise everyone and give it to Whiplash, but I'm certainly not holding my breath. I push people beyond what's expected of them. I believe that is an absolute necessity. I want to be one of the greats. And because I'm doing that, it's going to take up more of my time. And this is why I don't think that we should be together. I would never let him put my son through hell. Why would you let him get away with what he did to you? There are no two words in the English language more harmful than good job. And that's all for the Big Five Oscar categories. Be sure to check out the many other categories on the Oscars website and watch the ceremony to find out the actual winners live this Sunday, February 22nd at 7.30 p.m. Now back to you, George. Well, thanks, Trace. Well, that's all the time we have today. I'm George Cano. And I'm Alex Cavazos. And this has been J-Rocky TV.